Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rima and I make videos about motherhood, organization, decor, and homemaking. And this video is a special collaboration with over 30 of my girlfriends here on YouTube. We are all sharing some holiday at home ideas about cleaning, home decor, decorating, baking, DIY, planning and all kinds of things related to the holidays. Make sure to check out the playlist link in my description box and enjoy tons of videos full of holiday at home inspiration. Also, I have my Christmas 2020 playlist in the description box as well so you can catch up on all my Christmas decorating for the season. In today's video, we'll be making a DIY ornament garland, decorating a tear tray, decorating the Christmas tree, making a delicious, really easy appetizer, or it can be a quick lunch, and baking a coconut holiday cake. I am so excited to share this video with you and it is full of so much holiday homemaking inspiration so I really hope you enjoy. Last year I thought about how things can After spending so much time ordering online and shopping for Christmas decor, I really wanted to try to make something at home. I wanted to do a DIY project that would be easy for anyone to do. So I had a box of white ornaments, a mix of glittered, white, and iridescent, and I also had a roll of tulle fabric, so I thought I could put together a white garland and add some color to it with poinsettias and greenery to match the decor I have in the house. I tied a knot and a bow to one end and then just ran the ornaments through the fabric and tied the other end with another knot and bow really tightly to hold it well. You can add as many ornaments as you want, make it as full as you want, as long as you want, but I had this extra box so this is what I used. It's really cute on the mantle and I think it would have been really cute with multicolor as well. I think next year I may try it with really colorful ornaments, but this year I went with white to make it easy to match my other decor. My way. I'm just hooking the garland to the mantle with small command hooks and I wrap the tool a couple times around each hook to make sure it's really secure. Tool is really easy to work with and it's super stretchy so it makes wrapping and knotting and everything really easy to do. So now that I have it up I'm just going to add extra pieces for some pops of color along with some decor that I already had to add some extra drama to the mantle. You're gonna have to let me know what you think of it in the, in the comments below. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday, it means so much more than words. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this 
to stay with you Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you Ooh. For this tiered tray next to my coffee station, I wanted to use all the small pieces that I had gathered while shopping. Some are from the dollar spot from this year and last year and others are from the Target dollar spot. I have garland that is from Michaels which is from last year but I have seen that there this year. I cut it in half to fit around the trays. I also removed the handle from the tray at the top because it's too tall to put under my cabinets. So I'm going to fill it with all these cute little things and add some twinkle lights. It's so pretty in the evening and just adds a little touch of glamour to the kitchen over by the coffee station. My family just loved it along with the candy canes and I actually love the chocolates to eat with my coffee. Moment will fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby with you. And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you So like I said in my other video, this is the first time I have owned a flock tree. I kind of wanted to leave it just without any ornaments because I really love how the snow looks with the lights. But I also wanted to, to use this beautiful ribbon I ordered from Amazon to see how it would look weaved in between the branches. This ribbon was so easy to work with. It has a really fine wire inside and bends and shapes really easily. So once I put the ribbon on, I knew I couldn't stop there and it ended up just filling the tree as I went in. And I used gold, silver, and white white and some red pieces to match the rest of my home decor. My husband actually tried to put up some blue ornaments but it just did not look right so maybe next year we can do silver and blue tree which I also love the combination of. I also used a few picks that I had picked up while shopping and these silver poinsettia picks that I ordered from Amazon and I really think it's cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I take some of the decor off or just leave it as it is? I was kind of worried that it got too busy. Christmas song. We forgot what you came for And in the coffee shop just next door
So for this little appetizer or quick lunch idea, it is absolutely delicious and I know you will love it. You can also add really any of these combinations that you like. So I sliced up red onion really thin. I also sliced up a Bartlett pear really thin. You can also use Anjou pears, they're equally delicious. I had some nan bread. I also have blue cheese and some balsamic glaze. You can make balsamic glaze yourself. You just really reduce the balsamic glaze or balsamic vinegar until it gets really thick you can also add some brown sugar in there to sweeten it up a little bit more and to make it a little more caramelized and you start first by sauteing with a little bit of butter the red onion just until it softens I added a little bit of salt and pepper and then I put in the pear slices and I just let that cold uh, cook down for a little bit I don't know what he wants now And I don't know why he said all the things he said to me It means nothing to me now Cause there will be someone Who would not complain to drive all night all day To celebrate Christmas with me and once that is cooked down, it really only takes maybe two, three minutes for the pear to soften up a little bit. 
go ahead and get your naan bread. I or you can also use flat bread if you even make your own pizza dough. It's e it's e probably even better. But I just prepared the naan bread on parchment paper and then I divided the filling um, equally among the two pieces of the bread. And then on top of that, I crumbled the blue cheese and then just popped this, put some salt and pepper and popped it in the oven at 400 degrees. And this went for about 10 minutes. Oh. Oh. So I'm just thinking of all the different combinations you could use. I mean, this would be so good. I mean, if you even if you just wanted to do basic with tomato and mozzarella, uh, fresh mozzarella, that would be so good. You could also use, instead of blue cheese, if you don't like blue cheese, use feta cheese because the saltiness would be delicious with the sweet pear um, with the balsamic glaze. So after 10 minutes, you take out your little pizzas or your little flatbreads. And on top of that, I put some baby arugula. And then on top of that, I just drizzled the balsamic glaze. And it is so good. I recommend making this. If you wanted to serve it as an appetizer, just slice it up into really small pieces and place it on a pretty tray. So the next thing we're going to make is this coconut holiday cake and it is just so good. I started by uh, greasing the bottom of three round pans and on top of that I put parchment paper and then I also greased the parchment paper. And prior to baking, I toasted coconut. So you can do this either in the oven if you keep your eye on it. I did it on the stove top, dry without anything until it turned golden brown. By the way, the recipe will be in my description box below. I'll have a link to it so that you can easily get all the ingredients and all the directions. You know So what you're going to need is unsweetened coconut milk, plain cream cheese, unsalted butter, eggs, powdered sugar, regular sugar, flour. I used my hand mixer. So here you just pour all the dry ingredients together and then you're going to move on to your wet ingredients. Get your five eggs and you're just going to separate the yolks from the whites. I had a little bit of a problem with a couple of the eggs so I just scooped out the yellow. But just try your best to make sure that you get only the egg whites. And that helps to make the cake really white. So here you're just going to keep blending your eggs and then slowly add your coconut milk into it until it is frothy. I'm going out tonight. And it should look like this. Then take your two sticks of unsalted butter and blend that really well. I'm feeling down, I don't know why, I know it's so surreal. And slowly add the rest of your coconut milk and just blend it until it's smooth. After that, you're going to add your dry ingredients and alternate it with your egg white mix. So dry, wet, dry, wet ingredients until you have everything incorporated and you should have a really fluffy batter at the end and I'll show you what it looks like here. You are like me, wanna be free like a summer night. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down, I don't know what And you can see how gorgeous this batter is. It's so fluffy and rich. And now you're going to take your three pans and just divide the batter equally among the three and smooth out the top. Put it in the oven at 350 degrees and bake them for about 35 minutes. And now 
for the frosting, I'm adding one eight ounce package of plain cream cheese, powdered sugar, and I'm also going to be adding heavy whipping cream until you get to this frosting texture, and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. You're going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. and just keep whipping it. I also added a little bit of vanilla, but now that I think about it, some coconut extract would probably be so good with this. I think the next time I make the cake, I will use coconut extract. So now take out your cake from the cake pans and just frost using the frosting um, in between each layer of cake. And a quick little tip, if you're frosting and your cake is moving around, on your cake stand just put a little dollop of frosting underneath and it will hold it kind of like a glue so, so that it's stabilized and easier to frost. So here I'm just putting the frosting in between each layer including the top layer. And after you frost your cake, you're gonna then move on to making your whipped cream. And here I am using another cup of chilled whipped cream and just give that a really good whip until it is really fluffy. So go ahead and put your whipping cream all over the cake, the top and the sides. And then after that, you're going to pour your toasted coconut flakes all over the cake. And it is absolutely delicious and really a beautiful cake for the holidays. And here is the final cake. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this home at the holidays video with me. I had so much fun filming this for you and I really hope that I gave you some inspiration. So I really hope that you enjoyed this and again I gave you some inspiration for how to make your home extra cozy for the holidays this year. Check out the playlist, it is linked in my description box for even more holiday decor inspiration, DIYs, and recipes. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!